Russia raised the conditions for the ceasefire in Mariupol, calling on Ukraine to raise a white flag to surrender. Russia has announced that it will cease fire and open evacuation corridors from the Azovstal factory in Mariupol if Ukrainian troops surrender. The humanitarian ceasefire will come into force when Ukrainian forces raise a white flag along the campus or some of the roads leading out of the Azovstal factory, said Mikhail Mazintsev, head of the Russian Defense Control Center. The Russian Ministry of Defense, announced on April 22. Mr. Mazintsev said that immediately after seeing the white flag, signal of surrender, on any road leading out of the Azovstal factory, the Russian army and the forces of the Donetsk People's Republic, the self-proclaimed territory in Donetsk, eastern Ukraine, will cease all combat operations and ensure a safe exit to the location of the humanitarian convoys. Russia maintains the same approach to humanitarian action, the people will decide for themselves whether to evacuate to territories controlled by the armed forces of Ukraine or to Russian territory. Meanwhile, soldiers of the Ukrainian army, fighters of nationalist battalions and foreign mercenaries will be guaranteed their lives and safety if they surrender. All will be assured of appropriate medical assistance, including first aid, at the evacuation site. This is a humanitarian initiative of Russia and is in effect around the clock, Mazintsev said. In Mariupol, buses, motor vehicles and ambulances with medical crews are available to assist with the evacuation process. This notice will be sent to Ukrainian forces in Azovstal every 30 minutes. In addition, it is also broadcast through hotline communication channels to the Ukrainian side, including to Deputy Prime Minister Irina Verishchuk, Mazintsev added. The Kremlin said today that President Vladimir Putin had ordered to stop the attack on the Azovstal iron and steel factory for humanitarian reasons. If all servicemen of the armed forces of Ukraine, as well as fighters of nationalist battalions and foreign mercenaries lay down their weapons, their lives will be guaranteed, and they will be treated accordingly under international law and receive medical care. However, the Ukrainian authorities turned down this opportunity, the Kremlin said. Russia announced on April 21 that it had gained control of the city of Mariupol, in southeastern Ukraine, but there were still about 2,000 Ukrainian servicemen entrenched inside the Azovstal factory. The Azovstal plant is considered the last stronghold of the Ukrainian military forces in the strategic port city of Mariupol. This is considered a fortress due to its solidly built underground buildings and systems. The Russian Defense Ministry said that Moscow is ready to declare a ceasefire at any time to evacuate civilians from the Azovstal plant. According to Russian figures, since the beginning of the military operation, 1,844 Ukrainian soldiers have surrendered in Mariupol, and more than 143,000 civilians, including 341 foreigners, have been evacuated from the city. Mariupol is of strategic importance to both Russia and Ukraine. With full control of this port city, Russia could establish a corridor between Russia, the Donbass region and the Crimean Peninsula, as well as take complete control of the Sea of Azov. U.S. President Joe Biden said that information about Russia's control of Mariupol is still in doubt, and there is no evidence that the city has completely fallen. Meanwhile, President Zelensky announced that Russian forces are in control of most of Mariupol, but that Ukrainian forces still hold part of the city and that about 120,000 civilians are currently trapped there. According to Sputnik. Судоремонтный завод. Thank you.
الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر حل موضوع الحمد لله ويا أزو شتاب شو عادي وشتاب عايا الحين ساق بلان ما تسوي هشتكو شو هذا 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 شو